Okay, here's another um, update. Well, this time uh, it crashed again. So I uh, wound up taking off the arm because the motor came out. And when I tried to restart it, what wound up happening is is only two motors started uh, turning. So that told me that one side uh, had the issue. So when I pulled the motor off, I uh, noticed that the two wires coming off the winding had come off. So therefore I had to uh, re-solder them back on, re-shrink tube it, and uh, that took care of that. So during further inspection of the arm, I noticed that uh, there was a crack. And that crack is right there. And it's riding all the way down into this well. Now what happens is, is this shaft right here sits in here and therefore it gets tightened down by this screw and creates a, a way for it to fasten um, honestly I think that needs to be made out of metal or a metal sleeve where this sits in and maybe this should be square or something or something so this way it can't spin out uh, what happening what I noticed on this crash is the motor just basically slipped right out of that housing because that crack was there and I didn't know it. Now this probably happened from the first time that I uh, had the mishap when I was using the one link. Uh, something was going on with the, with the way it, it binded and it caused a crash. And when it crashed, it probably broke it at that point and I never noticed it. So, and then the other two crashes, which is uh, one uh, when it landed on my roof, if you saw that video. And uh, again, still never noticed that crack there. Again, I didn't inspect it either. So, and uh, then today I literally saw the motor come off and tip down and came tumbling down. Luckily, I wasn't that far up in the air, maybe about five feet eight feet and it landed on all four landing skids which was nice in the grass so I didn't break any more uh, any more parts other than the motor uh, two wires coming off the winding but that is the issue so and that's what happened when it landed on the roof that motor fell out again so it can't be tightened so it has nothing to hold it into place so what I did in the other ones, I wound up taking them out and I, I uh, loosened up the screw, opened it up, and I put some um, really, really thin sandpaper with an adhesive back on it. And just to keep it so it's snug and it, it's got something abrasive to, to hold it in. And uh, hopefully that works on the other three. I have to order another, another either uh, end or I have to, I don't know what I have to buy, I haven't uh, looked yet. But all the parts that I have been purchasing, I, I'm happy with the service that I've gotten, and that is from Massive RC, uh, Romeo uh, Bar Barria. Uh, I believe that's how that's pronounced. Um, excellent service, he's based here right out of uh, Florida, so he's not too far from me, so that's a good thing for me. So. I just wanted to give you that little tidbit of advice, so if anything like this has happened to you, uh, that's one of the things to check. Um, and I feel that this is the issue, and once I take care of that, my uh, hopefully issues will uh, stop with that motor sliding out of there. I was flying a little aggressively. I was making a turn at that point, so, and it probably put so much torque on that, on that spindle, it just, you know, the prop's going to want to fly up, so, and it just pulls it right out of there, so, that's pretty much about it, so, thank you for viewing, and hopefully, uh, this helps somebody out, have a great day.